winning team of Little Leaguers returns to the Old Pueblo. Quite the welcome for a triumphant team. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Waddell. Guy Ashley has the night off. Our sunny side Little League gals are home world champions. And in true Tucson style, we gave them quite the party. We begin our team coverage tonight on the homecoming with Not On Your Side's Corey Marshall. Jen, nothing quite says welcome home like a water arch. If you don't know what that is, take a look at this video. Tucson Airport Authority firefighters greeted the Sunnyside girls even before they deplaned with a water show of sorts. You're looking at video taken from the tarmac earlier this afternoon. Water canyons, cannons shooting an arch into the air inside the airport. Literally hundreds welcoming the team home. We're talking about Sunnyside cheerleaders, the school band, family, friends, you name it. Here for their homecoming. I didn't expect so many people, but I just, when I saw them, I, my heart just started pounding so hard and it got me happy. Tears in your eyes a little bit. <laughs> Is it happy tears? Yeah. Yeah. Why are, you, why, are you, why are you so happy? We won the World Series. <laughs> Now I spoke with a couple of the players' parents. One of the dads, a very pr proud dad, might I add, said that he felt like he was welcoming his little girl into the world again. He was just that excited. We'll have that moment and much more coming up tonight at 6 on the South Side. Corey Marshall, KGUN 9, on your side. All right, Corey, thank you. Congratulations, girls. By the way, Governor Jan Brewer released a statement today, and she says, quote, their triumph is a testament to the heart, perseverance, and talent of these young players. They have certainly made our state state proud and with all the fanfare we found one fan cheering on the world champs with a special connection to the team let's get back out there live now to the south side and here is not on your sides Aaron Brackett <laughs> Yeah, Jennifer, I was down here earlier before the procession made its way down to Wally Rivers Park, and we were actually here waiting with the families, and they were anxious. They were looking at their watches, just waiting for that procession to get here. It finally did. Now, back in 1999, the same team from Sunnyside was just two points away from making it where this team did to the Little League World Series. We spoke with Ruby Vidal, who was on that team, and now gets to congratulate her niece. Later, oh, I can't be proud. I am so happy for the Sunnyside team, these girls. I've been a part of Angel's softball career, showing her how to throw, showing her how to slide, and all. it's just an honor to watch these girls take home that title. And all that excitement culminated as a procession of police and fire vehicles led the girls on to Mission Manor Park, where a frenzy of friends and family Watch them celebrate on stage. Now, as you can see behind me, a lot of the celebrations have begun to wane, but still this moment, it's going to stick in the minds of those girls and in their families for quite some time. I'm live on the south side. Aaron Brackett, KGUN 9 on your side. All right, Aaron, thanks so much.